Go ahead and use a pry tool to go ahead and remove our center cap. Use a 19 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the lug nuts. Remove the wheel and set it aside. Using a 14 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our sway bar end link. Remove the nut off the top. Remove the washer bushing. Pull that bolt down and out. Then you can remove the sleeve, the two washers and the two bushings from the middle. Remove the cotter pin from your outer tie rod. Using 1116 socket, remove your nut. To release the outer tie rod end, you want to use a hammer and strike the knuckle here. That should pop the tie rod end out. Go ahead and take your knuckle, swing that out, giving us more room to get to the lower ball joint here. You want to use some pliers or cutters and see if we can get this lower cotter pin out. Now I'm just going to use a pick and I'm just going to tap it to get it through the eyelet of the of our cotter pin here. See if we can loosen that up a little bit. If we get that loose a little bit. I'm going to take our pliers and try and wiggle that and pull that cotter pin out. This side is loose, the other side is bent over a little bit, so we're just gonna cut off the back side. And continue to work that cotter pin out. We got that out. I'm gonna spray the nut here with a little bit of rust penetrant. Let that set in for a little bit. Using a 7 8 socket and a ratchet, we're going to go ahead and loosen our lower ball joint nut. At this point here, we can go ahead and remove the nut, but we're going to thread that back on just a few threads, just to the point where you can see the top of the stud through the castle nut here. Throw that on just a little bit. And we're gonna see the nut through this notch here, or we can actually see the ball joint stud through the notch. Now, once you have your vehicle supported on your jack stands, we're gonna use our jack underneath our control arm. The reason is, is once we separate our lower control arm from the knuckle, the spring itself in the suspension is now gonna to want to push those down we're gonna use our jack to support and catch that. Just gonna get it just so it touches. Now we're gonna strike the knuckle here to release the ball joint and control arm. You can see that the gap underneath the boot and our nut was here to capture that and keep that from launching off. Now, before we remove our castle nut here, we went ahead and relocated our jack underneath the coil spring perch right here. That way they will be able to go ahead and utilize our tool to remove our ball joint from the control arm. I'm gonna go ahead and jack this up a little bit. Remove 
take that nut off of the ball joint. Set that aside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slowly lower the jack. I'm just gonna use a strap to come around our brake here. Hold this up and out of the way. Go ahead and use a pry bar here, or pry tool. We're just gonna pop off our rubber boot to expose our lower ball joint. And get some rust penetrant on this here. So we have our ball joint press here. We ended up cutting off our threaded section to fit our clamp into place. Let's go ahead and press this out. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the inside. I wanna clean off any rusty nuggets in there. Ours seems really clean on the inside. With our lower control arm arc cleaned out, we're gonna apply some grease to the inside. This is gonna help us slide the new ball joint in. Our new ball joint, we're gonna pop off the boot, set that boot aside. Let's go ahead and install our ball joint setup here. Let's go ahead and we're going to use our ratchet to get this started first. Now once we have that ball joint bottomed out in the control arm, we'll go ahead and remove our tool. Just gonna clean up around the perimeter here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put extra grease inside the ball joint. I'm just gonna work this ball joint around. Get some extra grease packed in there. And then we'll go ahead and get our boot installed. There we go. Work that around and go ahead and take your boot, line that up and pop that into place. Let's go ahead and raise our jack here. You know, compress that coil. this up in a position. Now what we're gonna do is release our straps that are using to hold our knuckle off to the side and insert our ball joint into the knuckle. We're gonna use our mallet to tap our knuckle here and just pop that into place. Jack this up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get our castle nut started on the top. Get that started a few threads. Now we're gonna go ahead and torque our lower ball joint to 83 foot pounds. Wanna pay attention to the stud itself. There is a hole going through the ball joint stud from the left to the right, going right towards the knuckle. So that's where our cotter pin is gonna go in. And when tightening that lower ball joint, our knuckle was moving on us. So we're gonna go ahead and just pop our outer tie rod here into position. And we're just gonna set the nut on that just to help us. Just gonna pop this tie rod out. Now that we can see in here a little bit easier. Now I want to make sure that our 
notch and our castle nut lines up with the hole in our ball joint stud. We're off just a little bit. So we don't loosen the nut. You want to tighten it a little bit more to get that to line up. Now that that's lined up, I'm going to go ahead and lower this down just to make it a little bit easier for us to operate. Put our connor pin in. I'm going to bend over our tab. Tap that top one on and then go to the bottom one and we're going to snip off the excess. We're now going to go ahead and lower our jack here, lowering the suspension down and then we'll remove our jack. Line up our outer tie rod. Get our nut started here. Let's go ahead and torque that down to 40 foot pounds. You want to watch for your hole in the ball joint stud here, line it up with the notch in your castle nut. Ours is a little bit off. Tighten that up till that pokes through. Go ahead and feed your cotter pin in. Fold over the top, cut off the excess. Install our end link up, bushing on, cup facing down on our washer. Next will be the sleeve. Cup facing up, bushing. And you can apply a little bit of pressure on that sway bar upward and then go ahead and push that stud through. Pushing on the top, washer, go ahead and catch that nut on there. Let's go ahead and snug that down. Install your wheel. Get all of our lug nuts started by hand. Once these are all on, I'm going to go ahead and snug those down. Go ahead and torque our wheels down to 95 foot pounds. Go ahead and install your center cap by lining up the little ports here with your lug nuts and pop it on.